All right, uh, Apple is a big reason why we're down 119 points today, uh, contributing about 100 points to that fall off today. Uh, as you know by now, Apple disappointed. Uh, even though the overall sales and earnings were off the charts, so that it didn't make, a, uh, in fact, it made a lot of money off the phones. It sells a lot more money, um, just not as many of them. And now uh, so much so that Apple said, you know what, we're not going to break down uh, or break apart these sales figures anymore. Uh, too much attention is paid to that. The first trust advisor's chief economist, Brian Westbury. Brian, the effect was immediate on the market for Apple and, and technology right. stocks in general. And even now, as we speak in the overall Dow, Apple, of course, a, a premier component. What do you think? Yeah, well, first of all, Apple's a great company. And I, and I can't specifically recommend a company or not because we might hold it in our portfolios. And so let me just talk in general about the consumer because some people are looking at this as a, as a sign that the consumer is hurting. And that's just not true. Today we got 250,000 new jobs uh, in the month of October, wages, uh, and this is average hourly earnings, and, and remember, they don't include tips, commissions, uh, irregular bonuses, or health benefits at all. Those wages are up 3.1 percent in the past year. That's the strongest in almost a decade hmm. since 2009. And, we, and when we look at the 370 plus companies that have reported so far uh, for the S&P 500, Total sales are up 8.9%. And then if you pull out consumer discretionary companies, their sales are up over 10%. So wages are up, jobs are up, spending is up. I mean, this, there, there's no sign that this economy is rolling over uh, and that the consumer is running out of gas. I'm just wondering whether Apple, which has become more of a mutual fund these days for all things technology, I'd even slash retail there, uh, it, it, that, that it... it it headlined certain troubles for the consumer. Do you mind that? Yeah, I, I don't. I think, you know, I mean, it's one specific product. It, ha it has a lot of competitors out there. Uh, they've done extremely well. I mean, if we look back, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing company. And, 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 if you, and if you think about the FANG stocks in general, they're all amazing companies. They have grown rapidly, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be competition. That doesn't mean that they don't have to keep innovating. Um, and, and there's no sign that they, that they have a bad market to sell in. In other words, the, if they've had uh, some issues or any of these companies have issues with their results, it's not because the economy is rolling over. In fact, the economy looks to me as if it's accelerating. Uh, just a few years ago, we kept hearing complaints about where's the top line growth, in other words, revenue or sales growth for companies, and today it's booming. It's up over 8% uh, in the past year for all companies, up over 10% for consumer discretionary companies. I can't met, uh, imagine a better environment for retailers uh, than, the one, than the one we're in right now. All right. Uh, Brian, always good chatting, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Yep.